Good morning everybody. I am Dr. Kanmacharana Patro, Neuro Radiation Oncologist. Today I am going to tell about some sulci and gyri identification and uh, importance. It is I am just going to superficial part only for the required for the radiation oncologists. So what is the sulci and gy gyri? The gyri is the projection, sulci is the dip. So sulci is the depression and gyri is the ridge. So this is the sulci and gyri. Whenever the brain swells, the gyri becomes larger and the sulcus sinks. So this is the sulcus, CSF space. This is the sulcus, these are the gyri. So when the tumor or some uh, space of brain lesion swells inside, so sulci uh, shrinks, gyri swells. So to understand the remembering those various sulcuses, gyruses, there is a very uh, axial slice. You can see this is the from uh, from the twelve o'clock position to six o'clock position. The straight line is called interhemispheric sulcus that separating two cerebral hemispheres. One o'clock to three o'clock position. This is called superior frontal sulcus. That at a three o'clock position, this is the precentral sulcus. And um, um, four o'clock position is the central sulcus that is a hook sign or um, omega sign. This is the uh, then uh, five to six. This is the sulcus is known as a uh, post central sulcus and intraparietal sulcus is going downwards. So this is post central sulcus. This is the central sulcus. This is the precentral sulcus. This is the superior frontal sulcus. So, area between the precentral sulcus and central sulcus is the thicker and comparing to the posterior central gyrus. So, th this is the intraparietal sulcus. So, if you remember, this is the interhemispheric um, sulcus separating two lobes. This is the uh, prefrontal sul uh, superfrontal sulcus from one to three. This is the precentral sulcus. This is the hook sign. This is the central sulcus. This is the postcentral sulcus, and this is the intraparietal sulcus. So this is the you can remember according to the um, 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 uh, wall clock. So interhemispheric sulcus, superfrontal, uh, super uh, interhemispheric. Not it is interhemispheric sulcus. It is interhemispheric fissure. Actually, so this is superfrontal sulcus. This is the precentral sulcus. This is central sulcus. This is the postcentral sulcus. This is a intraparietal and intraspital sulcus. So you can see here. This is the frontal lobe here. This is the parietal lobe. The that central sulcus divides the parietal lobe from frontal lobe. Another sulcus is the lateral fissure or sylvian sulcus that separates from the frontal and parietal lobe from temporal lobe and <coughs> Occipital lobe is the um, um, parietal or parietal occipital sulcus is differentiating from the parietal to occipital lobe. So you can see central frontal, parietal, occipital, central sulcus divides frontal and parietal, parietal occipital fissure separates from parietal to occipital lobe. Sylvian fissure separates from frontal to temporal. You can see this is the temporal lobe, this is the frontal lobe, and parietal occipital fissure, so this is occipital lobe. So let's discuss one by one. What is interhemispheric fissure? This is the interhemispheric fissure divides separate from left right. Then sylvian fissure or lateral sulcus depends on frontal and temporal lobe. This is the sylvian sulcus or lateral fissure or sylvian fissure. It is separate from the frontal to temporal lobe. So you can see here. Sylvian fissure from frontal to temporal lobe. Central sulcus from frontal to parietal lobe. So this is the central sul. Uh, this is the central sulcus hook sign. This orange color. This is hook sign omega sign. This is the frontal. This is the parietal. This is the frontal. This is the parietal. This is the hook sign omega sign. That is the central sulcus central sulcus and this is the post central sulcus this is the bifid in nature the, uh, this is the post central sulcus this is the parietal occipital sulcus 
intraparietal sulcus. So bifid sulcus, post central sulcus, central sulcus is the hook sign, post central sulcus is the bifid nature. Then intraparietal sulcus, superparietal lobule from inferiparietal lobule. So this is the intraparietal sulcus, superparietal lobule and inferiparietal lobule, superparietal lobule and inferiparietal lobule. Then porate occipital sulcus. Parietal occipital sulcus is known uh, it is different in parietal and occipital lobe fish still it is separate skewness from pre -cuneus. so this is the known as a parse bracket sign or uh, parietal occipital sulcus like is a hook bracket sign and uh, so this is the parietal occipital sulcus different in parietal and occipital lobe and uh, this is the fish tail appearance you can see from fish tail appearance um, uh, from depression of pre cuneus to cuneus, parietal occipital sulcus. Then calcarine sulcus, calcarine sulcus is nothing, it is separating from the cuneus to the lingual gyrus. This is the lingual gyrus and this is the cuneus. So you can see here, this is the lingual gyrus, this is the cuneus, it is separating from cuneus to lingual gyrus. Another, uh, you can see that is a um, uh, this is the lingual gyrus, is lingual gyrus, this is calcarine sulcus and uh, another is parse marginalis that is a mustache sulcus known as parse bracket separating paracentral lobule from the precuneus of the parietal lobe so this is the cingulate sulcus that con continues this margin going to the towards the brain uh, marginal brain this is called precuneus and uh, sent um, uh, precuneus from parietal um, separating the precentral Paracentral lobule from this is paracentral lobule precuneus. So, paracentral lobule precuneus central sulcus, precuneus cuneus parietal occipital sulcus, calcarine sulcus cuneus to um, lingual gyrus. So, this is the parse bracket sign that is mar parse marginalis that is marginal sulcus. This is marginal sulcus, and uh, this is the parse bra ma ma bracket sign marginal sulcus. You can see this single, uh, single sulcus case you know, continues a marginal is going to the towards the margin of the brain singulus. Then this is a marginal sulcus. Sometimes it is a must looks like a mustache sign. And uh, you can uh, differentiate this is the um, parse bracket or marginal uh, marginal sulcus. This is the omega sign. This is the suprafrontal gyrus, super, this is the middle frontal gyrus, central sulcus, post central sulcus. Then uh, callosal sulcus and a cingulate sulcus. So, callosal sulcus, this is the cingulate sulcus, this is the callosal sulcus. So, this is, this is the uh, mostly the limbic uh, lobe or cingulate gyrus. So you can see here, cingulate gyrus, this is cingulate sulcus and callosal sulcus, the barrier between the cingulate gyrus. So this is called the limbic lobe. So you can see the cingulate sulcus and continuous as a um, marginal sulcus. This is the um, um, limbic, uh, limbic lobe. Other lobes are very um, uh, um, uh, um, less important is the suprafrontal gyrus, uh, gyrus, middle frontal gyrus, um, uh, inferior gyrus and dividing by suprafrontal sulcus, inferior frontal sulcus and this is suprafrontal gyrus, middle frontal gyrus, inferior frontal gyrus, suprafrontal sulcus, inferior frontal sulcus, precentral gyrus. So lateral aspect you can see temporal lobe, there are three Superfrontal gyrus, middle frontal gyrus, inferior gyrus, superfrontal sulcus, and middle frontal sulcus. So, uh, the, so this is the uh, you can see here. This is the super. super uh, um, uh, um, uh, this is the sylvian fissure, superfrontal sulcus, uh, supertemporal um, uh, sulcus, inferior temporal sulcus. So this is superfrontal gyrus, middle frontal gyrus, inferior frontal gyrus. So you can remember here superfrontal sulcus, inferior sulcus, sylvian fissure, differentiated in the frontal and temporal lobe. This is the supratemporal gyrus, middle temporal gyrus, inferior gyrus, and 
So you can see here the sulcus inside and this is the gyri, so prefrontal gyrus, middle frontal gyrus, and prefrontal gyrus. Uh, this is the parts of the lateral sulcus, then um, uh, supratemporal sulcus. So suprafrontal gyrus, middle frontal gyrus, inferior frontal gyrus, supratemporal gyrus, middle temporal gyrus, and inferior temporal gyrus. Thank you very much. These are the uh, shortcut we understand for the um, uh, some sulcus and gyri. Uh, thanks for watching. You can like, comment, and share, and subscribe. Thank you very much.